Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let you and I rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor Josh, the verse that stuck out to me from our reading today comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 21, which simply says this, don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Listen again. Don't let evil conquer you, but you conquer evil, how? By doing good. I just simply want to talk about that. Conquer evil by doing good. Martin Luther King Jr. famously says this, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. And where did the Reverend King learn this? The answer is from Jesus and Paul. Just like in chapters like we're just reading right now, we're in Romans chapter 12, and in Romans chapter 12 it tells us several things. He tells us to love our enemies. He tells us to live in harmony with one another. He tells us to, verse 17, do not repay evil for evil. And in verse 20 it says that we're supposed to feed and take care of our enemies. Where did we learn this? Well, we learned this from Jesus. We learned this from God because it says, while God, while we were yet his enemy, Jesus died. While we were yet God's enemy, while we were yet in our sins, while we yet opposed him, he did not return evil for evil. He did not walk into our darkness and bring darkness. No, he battled our evil with his holiness, sacrificing for us, giving his life for us, therefore providing salvation. Therefore, Dr. King, overcoming hate, breaking down barriers. We conquer evil by doing good. Let's take this and turn this back into a prayer. Father, we thank you that you conquered sin, conquered the devil, and conquered death by doing good, by doing a holy work by sending your son to die for those who had declared war upon you. As your followers, let us do the same with the evil that we encounter in our lives. May we conquer evil by doing good, both in our life and the life of those around us. We love you, and it's in the name of your son that all of God's people said, amen. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer.